What's up, Dark Siders? Dave H. Dark Side Kennels. How's it going? So, um, the fawn female with the black mask is gone. Um, she went to, I think it's Ruther Rutherden, North Carolina. Um, I gave the guy a pretty good deal on her. Um, basically, what was going on? He had, uh, he does framing work, you know, for house, I guess, housing construction or whatever. And his crew, he didn't have his crew to work with him for the holidays because everybody went away or I don't know, something. He didn't have anybody to work with him. So he couldn't work, so he couldn't make 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 money. So he couldn't really get stuff for his kids for, for Christmas, you know, as much as he wanted to, I guess. So, uh, you know. I guess a puppy was one of the things he was trying to get him, you know, and I saw, you know, I checked him out, you know, on Facebook and stuff, and I saw that he's a stepdad, and he's got a little, like, a little five-year-old girl, I think she's like five or six, look like, you know, sweet little girl, and, uh, you know, I was like, you know what, as cheap as everybody is with these goddamn dogs, I just told him, come get the fucking dog, you know what I mean, give me what you got. And come get the dog. So that's what I did. So that's my, I guess that's me being Santa Claus or whatever. But, uh, you know, so he says he's going to do a video of the little girl um, when he, because she's not even back home yet. I guess they went away or something. Her and her mother went away. And then go see relatives. I don't know. But, um, so when he comes back, he's going to make a video of her seeing the puppy for the first time. So that's cool, you know. I mean, God knows the puppy would have sat here. I either would have bred the puppy or somebody would have wanted the dog for 500 bucks anyway. Which wasn't going to happen. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, I did what I did. But, uh, yeah. He doesn't even want a breeder. He just wants her for a pet. So, so she's in a good home. And uh, I told him if he has any questions, you know, how to take care of whatever, just give me a call. And uh, what else? The one kennel building I have out here is empty. There's no dogs in it. Okay. And let's see, right now, how many dogs I got outside? I got, I got, uh, I got Jazz, Kobe, Sasha, Little Rock, and Troy. I got five dogs outside. That's all I got left out. I got five dogs outside. I got three adults inside. I got eight dogs. And then the two puppies. So I got ten, ten complete. So I'm down about ten dogs. Seven to ten dogs. Than I normally have. Um, the champagne white male is for sale. He is 4K. The blue female, I will only sell if I get top dollar for her. Otherwise, I will not sell her. You know, if you come with the bag, you might have a shot at it, like I said the other day. That's entirely up to you guys. I'm not pushing it. I'm not really worried about it. I stopped worrying about selling these dogs for a, a month ago. <laughs> I really did. I just, like, whatever, man. You know, these next two litters, if they don't sell, I, I will not breed any more bully litters for, for a while you know I mean I'll keep the litters and I'll show them but I'm not going to breed anymore because it's just pointless you know and, and people say well if you have good stuff um, people will buy anyway well I got good stuff and you're going to see how good it is because it's going to be in the ring you know and you and probably still won't buy it but I guess because my name's not bossy or you know monster bully or like that mean, I mean, whatever. I mean, you see what I feed my dogs. You see the vitamins I give my dogs. You see I worm them. I take care of them. You see how I, on the lives, you know, how sweet they are. I mean, I don't know what to tell you guys. And this is not a negative post. I'm just saying it. I don't push sales anymore because, like, it's just pointless. It's like, it's pointless right now. In this economy and the way people are feeling entitled and being cheap and stuff, it's just, it's not worth it. You know, so I'm looking towards the new year and uh, showing my dogs and uh, 
getting my, I'm getting, uh, like I said, I'm not going to be doing, breeding any pockets at all next year. I got Little Rock for stud, but I'm not breeding any pockets. Um, 2024, I plan on getting two presses from my buddy in Romania. Uh, so I, I got to hurry up and, and he's really working with me on it too, man. Like, see, he's a guy like me. He's cool. You know, he's like, you can take your time and pay me. Don't worry about it. Just pay the shipping, get him over there. He don't give a shit. He just wants dogs because he knows he's going to get exposure over here too, you know, because I do a lot of YouTube and stuff. So his dogs are going to get a lot of exposure. You know, but the guy's cool, you know, and he, and he's, uh, working with me, you know. I mean, Christ, just to get the dogs over here is almost two grand a piece. Just to get them here. That's not even pay for the dog. So you're talking four, almost four Gs to get two dogs over here. But it's but it's world champion elite bloodlines. It's like right from the Canary Islands. It's not no watered down band dog shit. This is Pressa 100%. Like primo shit. So... So I'm gonna get two brindles. I don't. I don't. I don't want no fawns. I, you know, I want dark brindles. You know, like red brindle or fawn brindle. You know, black brindle. But um, that's where I'm at with that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to press this out. I think they're a little bit more up my alley so in some ways because you know I'm into doing protection work and bite work and you know I like I like a harder dog you know I'm used to the Rottweilers I guess that's what got you know got me into that you know doing all the Schutzen and all that stuff but you know but I'm going to socialize these presses so take them to Lowe's take them everywhere so they're not trying to kill people and act stupid because they got the reputation you know you know the reputation they got, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make that a myth because I'm gonna socialize them and obedience train them and get them straight. You know, and if I need help, I got a world class trainer right four miles down the road, badass trainer. This guy ain't no joke. World class canine. The boy knows what he's doing. He ain't no joke. So if I need backup, I got it. Um, I got two girls sitting here sleeping. I don't know. I'm thinking Blue's knocked up now, man. Because I tell you, she went from being like active and stuff. She don't. She got lazy. She's super clingy. She looks like she's getting a little bigger, but she's just dragging ass around the house. She sleeps all day now. Like she don't want to do nothing. She eats. She goes back to sleep. She eats. She goes back to sleep. She don't want to do shit. So. I think Sandy's pregnant too, but I'm not 100% yet. As soon as I'm 100%, I'll let you guys know. But you know, you know, at last two, three weeks before they get pregnant or after they're pregnant, you know, they all of a sudden it, they go from having like a little belly to like boom. You know what I mean? So I'm going to count the days today and see how many days they're in on the calendar and uh, check that out. Uh, Dark Side Fridays, 7 p.m. on Friday. We'll chop it up. And uh, I'm just re I'm just kind of revamping things for 2024. You know? I mean, Christ, there's a show coming up this weekend. I might go to it. I don't know. Let's see what's up. I don't know if I'm going to take any dogs or not. I might just go just to... Just to hang out shit I don't know we'll see got a lot going on right now I got my new plumbing website up that went up two days ago so hoping to get busy again get back to doing what I do start marketing got my marketing going back up so uh, get things back in the groove there hope everybody's litters are doing good hope your dogs are doing good and um, everybody have a good day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Like I said, if you want, if you're interested in either one of these pups, and you got the you got the money, and you ain't bullshitting. 
803-504-9447. That's Dual Champion Aries, bred to Jasmine. Okay? That's Jasmine will never have another puppy. These are the last two you get. If you ever wanted a puppy from Jasmine, this is your only shot. Last two puppies ever to come from Jasmine. She's fixed. She's not going to have any more dogs, any more puppies. Okay? So, you all have a good day, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.